Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I just want to be the best in basketball, so uh, I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strength. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed from business, nursing and science to the arts all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rats basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. 
In four years, this could be you. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952, when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for a maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air, where your emergency is our emergency. Live from the TP and Belmont High School, it's another dandy of a matchup in IHSAA Volleyball this evening as the 4A Carroll Chargers at 12-2 on the season are in Belmont and Decatur tonight to take on the Belmont Braves, the number one team in 3A. 15 and one overall record on the season. Well, good evening, everyone. Glad that you are with us here on Summit City Sports. I'm Jaron Matheny, and here we go again with Belmont Volleyball and another big matchup for the Braves. Belmont defeating Homestead in four sets last night in Fort Wayne to get their 15th win in 16 tries this season. And they were led by the star sophomore for Belmont. Mary Kate Scheiman with 26 kills last night, surpassing 200 kills on the season. Now at 201 this year, Scheiman alongside Delaney Lawson, who had 18 kills and hit 500 last night, helped Belmont get a win over Homestead in four sets. Lawson is now creeping in on that 400 or that 200 kill marker on the season. More than 1,150. 50 career kills now for Lawson over the course of the last four seasons for the Braves who again last night defeated Homestead in four sets to improve to 15 and one on the year. Carroll was also in action last night. They defeated Northrop at home in straight sets. Bailey Sinish with 14 kills hitting 481 last night. Carroll as a team had 10 service aces and Brenna Gender with 13 digs to lead the way, or rather 19 digs to lead the way. Sinish had 13 digs last night for Carroll in a straight set sweep of Northrop. The Chargers will get Belmont tonight and then they travel to Dwanger tomorrow and talk about a loaded schedule for pretty much both Belmont and Carroll leading up to this point. They were at Carroll this past weekend. Both teams fell to Hamilton Southeastern. Carroll has only lost seven sets on the season. Belmont has only lost six sets so far this year. So we should be in for a very good matchup tonight between Carroll and Belmont. And it's the two sophomores who kind of lead the conversation coming into play this evening. We'll start with the Chargers. Bailey Sinish, a five foot 11 inch sophomore outside hitter. Sinish has been the little a little bit of a do everything for Carroll so far. She is three kills away from surpassing 200 on the season. And she's doing all that while hitting 390 and a kill percentage of near 50% on 397 total attacks this year for the Chargers. And just under five kills per set so far this season for Sinus, who again is just a sophomore for the Chargers coming in at 12 and two on the year. The Braves at 15 and one this season, led by Scheinman as well as Delaney Lawson. And we'll just keep an eye on the sophomores. That's the biggest thing I can give you in terms of what to look for here this evening between Belmont and Carroll. Keep your eye on the sophomore number one for Belmont and the sophomore number four for Carroll. Looking and proving to be difference makers so far this season. Looking to be a difference maker here in this match tonight between the Chargers and the Braves. Again, Belmont is the number one team in 3A according to the new Z rankings which came out uh, to start this past week. 
and Carroll on the outside looking into the top 10 in 4A, but at least both these sides getting a really strong test with Hamilton Southeastern, who's the number one team in 4A at the moment. Unbeaten Hamilton Southeastern and the Royals defeating both Belmont and Carroll in straight sets this past weekend, handing Belmont their lone loss of the season. And for Carroll, one of just two losses. The other loss for the Chargers came in a tournament invitational environment against Homestead. That was just a three set match. So while it stands as a loss of the schedule, uh, you'd like to think that when these those two sides meet up later in the year, it'll mean a little bit more when you're playing five sets as opposed to three uh, in that invitational style. We are about six minutes away from starting rotations and the national anthem here at Belmont High School tonight. And the TP should be really fun between the Braves and the Chargers. While we have a moment, let's take this time to thank our sponsor, starting with Big Eyed Fish. Big Eyed Fish has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations, like their Facebook pages for updated promotions and enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment at Big Eyed Fish. Kelly Automotive is celebrating their 70th year in business. You can shop all 14 of their brands at kellydrive.com. Tom Steel Tire has been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They will help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, engine diagnostics, and more. At Ottenweller Contracting, we invest in our customers by providing peace of mind during the entire process. From bid to build, visit OttenwellerContracting.com. Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together, we can reach the summit. Anderson Heating and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business. A system and solution that fits your unique needs. Visit AndersonCoolHeat.com. Are you ready to do what it takes to put your past behind you? Whether it's expunging your criminal record or helping to get your driver's license reinstated, Jolly Law Firm is your answer. Sioka Cleaning and Restoration, providing top-notch commercial cleaning services, including janitorial, water damage, and state-of-the-art disinfecting services throughout Northeast Indiana. Online degree programs at the University of St. Francis are built for convenience and flexibility. Most degrees can be completed within 12 months. Visit online.sf.edu. Specialists in design, build, mechanical, and refrigeration, tjwindustrial.com. Visit there for more information. And earn your edge this season through Parkview Sports Medicine's Edge Training Program. Parkview Sports Medicine's Edge Training Program maximizes your athleticism through personalized performance training to reach your goals and get you to the next level. Visit parkviewsportsmedicine.com slash edge to schedule your free consultation today. And of course, you can find us here on Summit City Sports as well. Summit City Sports on YouTube, Summit City Sports on Facebook. We are at 260 Sports as well on Twitter or X, whatever you're referring to it nowadays as Belmont and Carroll get set for action this evening. The Braves at home undefeated so far this season. Again, these two sides have combined to just drop 13 total sets in almost 30 matches, well, exactly 30 matches played between the two this year. So 13 sets lost, 30 matches total between these two sides. We've got just three combined losses overall, and it makes for what should be a really interesting match between Carroll and Belmont here tonight at the TP Indicator. It's a wide out in the student section for the Braves this evening. Coach Kroll talked briefly with him uh, before we got set up and rolling here this evening, he talked about the win over Homestead last night and obviously a good victory for his side. I asked if they're ready to go again for this evening. You know, quick turnaround, and Carroll will have another quick turnaround tomorrow as well on the other side of things. But he said, We better be. We got to be ready to go because if you're not, Carroll will put you in your place pretty quick. And and you know, that's the expectation is this should be a high level volleyball match between Belmont and Carroll this evening. Again, keep your eye on number four for the Chargers. Number four in blue tonight, Bailey Sinish, 197 kills coming into play this evening. The sophomore on the other side for Belmont, the Braves, Mary-Kate Scheiman, outside hitter and a sophomore, just surpassed 
her 200th kill of the season last night against Homestead. So Sinish with a chance to get her 200th kill just a little bit sooner than Shyman did a night ago, depending upon how things shake out here tonight for Carroll. 12 and two overall in terms of the state of Indiana ranked number 14 overall coming into play here this evening and the number one team in 3A, the Belmont Braves trying to hold home court here tonight in Decatur against Carroll. We'll step aside, come back with the starting rotations and national anthem after this break. Carroll and Belmont High School Volleyball here in the state of Indiana and live from the TP and Decatur tonight. Braves taking on the Chargers when we return from this break. <laughs> Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. Dealing with joint pains, sprains, strains, or back pain? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walk-In Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, Ortho Express has specialized orthopedic physicians on staff when you need it most. Get x-rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk-in clinic. Ortho Express is open Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Friday 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call 260-266-4007 for more. And with that, we welcome you back to Decatur and Belmont High School, the 15 and one Braves top team in 3A, getting ready to take on the 12 and two Carroll Chargers out of class 4A and what should be a really, really fun matchup this evening. So excited that you are with us here on Summit City Sports. I'm Jaron Matheny. Let's get you set with starting rotations and the national anthem right now. starting lineup for the Carroll Chargers starting rotation here this evening Hayden Finfrock the defensive specialist will get the start Maggie Dieterk as well as Bailey Sinish Brenna Ginder is the libero for Carroll Olivia Gislin Addie Shippey and Lola Sassy round out that starting rotation for the Chargers here tonight and now we'll get the starting rotation for the home team and the Belmont Braves at 15 and 1 this season So Belmont, Mary Kate Scheiman, Sammy Kristen, Cadence Lose all starting here for the Braves. Throw in Haley Cole into that mix as well. The setter had a great match last night 
against Homestead as we get ready for the National Anthem. How about that? Getting us set for some volleyball tonight between Carroll and Belmont. We are just moments away from our first serve this evening between the Chargers and the Braves. Again, Jaron Matheny, glad that you are with us here. SummitCitySports.com. Chargers swearing blue. Belmont in white. Minus Brenna Ginder for Carroll. She'll wear the white libero jersey this evening. Sammy Christian on the other side wearing that navy blue libero jersey. Maybe a little bit more of a gray tone uh, to that number three for Sammy Christian. We'll get fun one final word from the coaches. Head coach Pandy Sinish at the helm for Carroll. And Craig Kroll on the other side for Belmont. It's the Braves. Look to win their third consecutive match. Carroll looking for back-to-back -back victories. They're starting the season, you know, 11 and one. That loss to Hamilton Southeastern, the one blemish on Belmont's resume, and then really the one full match blemish on Carroll's resume as well. When you take out that three-set loss, two to one, the final against Homestead in that Invitational. So. Interesting setup, certainly, with these two sides facing off. Jackie Suter on that front row with Delaney Lawson. Lawson will scoot to the back to start things for Belmont. And Carroll set to serve first. Aiden Finfrock, sophomore. Getting a pretty young Carroll group for the most part. Olivia Gislin, the setter. That's seniority in the middle for the Chargers. Serve is up and we are underway from the TP tonight. Lawson on the first kill attempt. It's in. Point Belmont and we're off and running here in Decatur. Delaney Lawson off the high point on the set from Haley Cole. Lawson's got a kill. Kristen serve into the back row. Swipe down through and a point for the Chargers. There's Gislin, that senior experience. And we talked about it last night if you tuned in with Haley Cole and her experience as a setter knowing when to dump over. And first chance Gislin gets, she takes advantage. We're tied at one in this opening set. Ginder the libero on a cross court serve. Scheinman first touch. Back set near side for Suter. Blocked back to Belmont. Now a two-hand shove. Ginder angles back towards the middle, middle and Giz Gislin. Two-hand touch over. Attack for Lawson. Soft drop and rolls through for the point. Delaney Lawson's got both kills in the early going for Belmont. Suter back the far side of the floor for the Braves. Jump serve, cross court. First touch by Sinish. Now she'll take the swing cross court. Kristen pushes it up in the air. Lawson off a of back foot. Ginder 
Gislin down the middle, and it's a point for Carol Sassy with her first kill. Chargers tie it up at two in the opening set. Olivia Gislin will run onto screen here in the bottom right corner. Jump serve. Cole couldn't track it down off the initial reception. Point for Carroll, and the Chargers have their first lead, three to two. The service ace for Gislin. That's what Carroll did last night in three sets, 10 total service aces. Diamond first touch, a long run for Cole. Suter goes to the back row at Ginder. Now Gislin back set right side. Nice swing on the first attempt for Hirschberger today, but Belmont responds to the point. Three to three in set one. Mills now on and in to serve for the Braves. Katie Mills. Right into the middle of the Chargers. Finfrock first touch. Here's Sinish on the swing. Down the line at Kristen. Scheiman delivers into the back row. Gets her first kill. Point Belmont. Braves lead it 4-3 to three in the opening set. Mary-Kate Scheiman now 202 kills on the year. Got a feeling we'll see it a lot tonight. Sets one through five, potentially back and forth action. Gislin, near side on the set. Blockers were there for Belmont, and it's down point to the Braves off the double contact from Carroll. Five to three, Belmont leading. And again, it's Mills serving. Jump serve and a service error. Low line drive would have been solid had it made it past the top of the tape. Just crashed into the net, service error. Five to four, Belmont in front. And here's Bailey Sinish serving for Carroll. Sinish on a jump serve and a line drive into the back row. Cole for Scheiman. Splits the block and down. Mary-Kate Scheiman with two kills. Belmont six, Carroll four. Melissa Gumbel. Gislin back set, good opportunity. Dug back out right to Carroll. Gislin setting near side. That goes across the tape line and down for Sarah Stiegel. Stiegel picks up her first kill. Chargers back within one. And now Lauren Peters checks in to serve for Carroll. Jump serve into the back row of Belmont. Cole setting far side for Scheiman. This time Carroll keeps it alive. Chargers attack near side. Stiegel again back towards Carroll's end. Chargers signish too strong. Essentially, you're going to have to free ball there if you're Carroll. Sinus takes a swing, not the end of the world. Goes too far. Point for Belmont off the attack air. 7 to 5, Braves. In set one. Haley Cole. Senior serves in the back row of Carroll. Gislin down the middle. Great opportunity and great dig from Cole. Free ball coming back to Carroll. Gislin sets again down the middle for Shippey. And now Belmont has a chance. Near side swing for Suter. Nice little rally going. Gislin for Sinish. Soft tap with two hands. Braves again, essentially a free ball back over. Stiegel pushed it too far. Point Belmont. Nobody really got set on either side during that point. And it was Carroll who eventually made the final air. Eight to five Braves. Cole, another strong jump serve. Ginder, first initial touch wasn't great. Free ball back to Belmont. Cole, back setting Suter. Nice touch in the back row from Sinish. Stiegel, too strong, no touch. And a point for Belmont, nine to five. So 
Braves with their largest advantage so far here in the opening set. Ginder first touch high into the sky. Stiegel will take the swing too strong. And it's Belmont who's the first to reach double digits in this opening set. Timeout coming for the Chargers. It's 10 to five in set one. Chargers early advantage, but Belmont now going on this nice little run with Haley Cole at the service line. Braves have scored the last four points here in Decatur. And that leads us to a 10 to five advantage for Belmont in the opening set. First time out taken by Carroll here in set number one. Jaron Matheny, glad to be with you live from the TP tonight and Belmont High School. The Braves, one of the strongest volleyball forces across Indiana. Carroll right up there with them, but it's Belmont who has the early lead. Cole. Back and serving once more out of the Carroll timeout. Stiegel first touch, and that's a service ace for Belmont. Haley Cole and the Braves now on a 5-0 run. Cole, another line drive serve. And right in the middle, point Addie Shippey. Nice setup by Gislin, and Shippey takes care of the rest right on that B logo at center court. Hirschberger serves. Back set near side for Scheiman. Ginder pops it up. Stiegel, the freshman, takes the swing. Kristen digs it out. Opposite end for Suter, who puts it down. Suter with a pair of early kills, according to our unofficial stat totals here. 12 to six, Belmont in front of Carroll. Scheinman back to the service line once again for Belmont. Ginder first touch, Gislin three meter attack coming in from Sinish and now back to the Carroll side. Ginder had to extend out for it. Stiegel swing off the blockers. And that'll be double contact, or they'll call it a lift actually, against Belmont. Point belongs to Carroll. And Sinish put it through. Now Finfrock serving for Carroll. Chargers trail by five in the first set. Line drive, Scheiman, Cole, left side, Lawson off the block, then the antenna, point, Belmont. 13 to seven as Lawson collects her third kill. Kristen back to serve, nice spin. Gislin down the middle and another open lane for Addie Shippey to deliver a kill. Quick one-two punch down the middle for Carroll. Makes it 13 to eight. Brenna Ginder, the senior, libero. Serves down the line. Cole into the middle, nice swing. And a net violation point for Belmont anyway. There's Finfrock in the back row trying to dig out the kill attempt. 14 to eight, jump serve from Suter. Gislin on the near side, Sinish goes at Kristen, and now Cole takes a healthy swing, but she's blocked. Sinish and Sassy there on the combo block. 14 to nine. Gislin, jump serve. Scheinman in the air, Cole setting up Lawson, cross court, too strong. Attack air, point Carroll, 14 to 10 in this first set. Good student section on hand for the Braves. 
Really good crowd for a Wednesday night. Serve is too strong from Gislin. There's the first service air by Carroll. 15 to 10. Belmont in front. Katie Mills to serve. And Lawson coming off the floor as Mills comes on to serve. Gislin back set. Sinish off a block and down. Bailey Sinish picks up the kill. Been relatively quiet for Sinish so far in set one, which probably means big things coming as she steps up to the service line. Sophomore too strong, 16 to 11, and, and those are the things serve receive when we're playing in a game like this one with two highly competitive teams, serve receive becomes so much more important. Gumbo on that attempt. Gislin near side, Stiegel takes another swing at it. Scheiman lofts it up. Ginder got a piece of it, ends up underneath the net on the second attempt by Sassy. Point for Belmont, 17 to 11 Braves here in the first set. We were scheduled for a 7.30 start time but the JV match just went two sets with Carroll winning in JV over Belmont. Gislin to the far side, off the blockers and down, good point. It's blocked by Scheiman alongside Cadence Lose. 18 to 11. Stiegel first touch. She gets it back near side. Soft roll and a drop through. Stiegel will take the point. I'm not sure she thought that one was going down based off her reaction, but a point is a point anyway. You can take it here for Carroll. 18 to 12, Chargers trailing Belmont. Lauren Peters, another sophomore, lofts it over. Cole backpedaling sets far side for Scheiman. Skied into the air in the back row. And now a free ball. Cole again, Scheiman once more. Carroll keeps it alive. Sinish to the back row of Belmont and down. Point Carroll. Sinish gets the opportunity and delivers for the Chargers. Back within five here for Carroll. Lauren Peters again serving, soft touch. Cole back set, slide opportunity for Los. Dug out. Stiegel, another swing, got over the blockers, but again, Kristen there. At the net, Los wins the battle. 19 to 13, Belmont. Haley Cole serving for Belmont. And went on a nice little run the last time she was at the line. Gislin trying to take her off. Stiegel swing, popped up high. Cole for Scheiman. Soft tap and down. Mary Kate Scheiman showing off the skill set. And the IQ could have swung hard right up against the blockers. No, we'll go off the tips of the fingers, drop it in. And Scheiman's got her third kill unofficially here tonight for Belmont. 20 to 13, Braves in front of the Chargers in this opening set. Again, Jaron Matheny here for Summit City Sports, summitcitysports.com. You can find us on YouTube, search for Summit City Sports. We're on Facebook and then on Twitter at 260 Sports is where you can find us as well. Early going and early success at home for Belmont so far, spreading out the attack. Cadence Lowe's with a kill. Again, unofficial totals here. Suter with a pair, Lawson and Scheiman each with three. Sinish, Stiegel, and Shippey all with two kills unofficially by our tally here for the Chargers in this first set. Carroll out of timeouts. Belmont looking for a set one victory. And Haley Cole serving once again. Cole serves Ginder with a first touch. 
Gislin on the right side attack, drops in off the blockers. There's a swing for Hershberger, that's true. Point Carroll, now 20 to 14. Hershberger off the kill, steps back to the service line. Cole, joust, and then a two-hand push by Lose. Down the middle, nice healthy swing for Shippy. Suter rejected up front. Gislin trying to get Carroll fired up now. Chargers trail by five. Set number one. Hirschberger trying to make it a 3-0 spurt for the Chargers. Line drive serve, Cole, back set, Scheiman cross court comes right back over and then right back to Carroll. Gislin getting to set up, Sinish just too strong. Point Belmont, 21 to 15. Kate Scheiman, serve is over. Gislin went over Shippy and then essentially a free ball. Cole shoves it back. Gislin, soft tap. Lawson kept it up and now hit over by Cole. Chargers on the attack and Gislin missed that swing. Thought she could do what she did a little bit earlier to much success earlier in this first set, but Gislin doesn't get this one over the net. 22 to 15, Belmont. Scheinman and the Braves closing in on a first set victory. Good spin, Ginder into the middle. Gislin setting up Shippy. Punched up by the blockers of Belmont, but not for long enough. Shippy gets the kill. Point Chargers. 22 16. Finfrock serves at Kristen. Cole, back set, good swing from Suter. Nice dig from Carroll. Suter swings again for Belmont this time, drops in, point Braves, 23-16. Kristen on the serve, shuffles her feet. Gislin. Sets up Sinish. Attack error on Carroll. Makes it 24-16, and now the Braves are at set point here in the first. Sammy Kristen, the senior libero on the serve. Gislin to the near side. Sinish goes down the line. Cole popped it up. Suter against the blockers. Point goes to Carroll. 24-17, set point two. Brenna Ginder will need the next seven for Carroll. Angled back in by Scheiman. Lawson with a swing, just too far past the back row. Attack air, point Carroll. Chargers need the next six to force OT in this first set. 24-18. Ginder's serve is over. Scheiman first look. They'll set. Gumbel puts it away. And a set one victory for Belmont. 25 to 18 at the end of set one. Braves take the opening set over the Chargers. And now Carroll have to fight from a little bit of a hole in this match in Decatur. 25 18 first set. Mary Kate Scheiman, Delaney Lawson, as well as Jackie Suter, all unofficially with three kills after set one for Belmont. Braves on top, one to nothing after the opening set of action here in Decatur. We'll come back with more volleyball right after this. Pineapple Volleyball Club has become synonymous with top-level volleyball in Northeast Indiana. Lloyd Ball is the owner and director at Team Pineapple. Ball is a four-time Olympian and a gold medalist at the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games. Team Pineapple trains at the Ball Sports Academy. 
This facility has indoor volleyball courts, Parkview Sports Performance and Ortho Clinic, an Olympic weight room, in-house massage therapy, and the state-of-the-art CET Cryo Spa for post-training therapy. Head north on Highway 69 towards Angola and come see how champions are made at the Ball Sports Academy. For more info, visit TeamPineapple.com. Hello, all you volleyball fans. Will Robbins here, the founder and CEO of Empowered Sports Club, the home of Empowered Volleyball Academy and Pro Beast Juniors. We just want to wish a special good luck to all of our empowered athletes and their respective high school teams and middle school teams this volleyball season. We wish you guys the best. And we also wanted to let everyone else know that it's not too late to join the Empowered family. Uh, October 17th and 18th, we do have our high school prep tryout. So if you're a serious volleyball player, Empowered is the place to be. Not only have we had 100% of our athletes go on to play at the next level, we had Fort Wayne's largest recruiting class in history with 20 athletes alone last year going on to play at the next level. So when you're making your club decision for this season, we hope that you'll consider Empowered and make Empower Sports Club your home and that you'll join the Empower family. 25-18, Belmont takes the opening set over Carroll here in Decatur at the TP and Belmont High School. Jaron Matheny, glad you're with us for Summit City Sports. Opening set goes in favor of the Braves who are trying to improve to 16-1 this year. Carroll with a win would go to 13-2 on the season. That's just the eighth set lost all season long for the Chargers, which means you can probably expect them to... <laughs> Bounce back in some way during this match here tonight. one nothing in the match column in favor of Belmont after set one. And again, unofficially, Lawson, Scheinman, and Suter all with three kills in that first set for Belmont. Chargers break the huddle. We are ready for set two. No more volleyball the rest of this week on the high school side of things. But, of course, we've got more sports coming up tomorrow. And, of course, Friday night football. Saturday we'll have some soccer action as well. Looks like we got Mike Myers in the building <laughs> this evening headed towards the Braves student section. Belmont serves to begin our second set. Sammy Kristen gets set two underway with a serve at Ginder. Gislin near side for Stiegel. And Braves keep it up. Cole for a back row attack by Scheinman. Swing down. Braves are there. Cole for Lawson who splits the back row. Point Braves to kick off set two. Delaney Lawson, 18 kills last night, hit nearly 500 a night ago. Gislin into the middle, strong swing, but just too strong. Down the middle for Addie Shippey. Chargers were looking for a touch there late, won't get it. Kristen. Good dip on that serve. Gislin for Shippey in the middle. Popped right back to Carroll. Stiegel swing off the top of the block. Cole long run. Still able to get lost in a good opportunity. That one hit the rafters up top. Comes back down. Results in a point for Belmont. That's a tough break if you're Carroll. Sinish touch straight up and hits the ceiling up above. And that created a different angle for Ginder to try and get underneath it. 3 0 Belmont in this second set. Shippy, soft tap at the top of the fingers. Lawson off her palm. Now Gislin, back row attack for Sinish is through. She's gonna heat up at some point. Maybe we just saw the start of it. Sinish picks up the point for Carroll. Three to one, Chargers trail Belmont in the first set. Or set number two, excuse me. Set number one, 
18 in favor of the Braves. Binfrock. That's Scheiman. Cole back setting. It's Suter on the near side of the back row. Gislin looking for Sinish off the tape. And now Lawson for Belmont swings. Joust opportunity, Lawson wins it and buries it in the near side corner. Coin Belmont. Four to one, Braves out in front. Suter jump serve just off the top of the tape. Gislin for Sinish and that's a missile off the right hand of Bailey Sinish. She's got both points for Carroll here in the second set. Four to two, Braves in front. Ginder on the jump serve. Cole for Lawson again, into the back corner. Point Belmont. Lawson. Three kills here in set two. Katie Mills back in that serving rotation for Belmont. Sinish first touch, she'll get it right back here off the set from Gislin, but missed just wide of the line on the near side. Point Belmont off the attack air, six to two Braves. The back row. Slide action and into the back corner. Great setup. Sassy puts it away for the kill. Got the slide moving in Gislin. Perfect set to allow Sassy to get in right behind and dunk it through. Six to three. Set two. Gislin jump serve. Cole. Far side for Scheiman. Now Carroll into the middle. Tapped over and drops through. Sassy again, the one who ends up pushing it across the net line. Six to four, Carroll back-to-back -back points in the second set. It's Gislin again. Strong serve at Suter. Cole, soft tap over. That was Gumble on the attack, swing from Sinish. Eight to four, Belmont here in set two. Apologize, we just got our power kicked out. The guy's running back behind. Near side swing. Nearly went down for Sophia Gislin. It's Sinish on the attack against Cole. And the point belongs to Belmont. Timeout for Carroll, nine to four, Chargers. Trailing Belmont here in set two. So the first timeout for Carroll here in the second set. Carroll used both their timeouts during set one as well. Chargers just looking for an answer right now. Belmont's defense has lived up to the task. Serving hasn't been an issue for Carroll here in set two. It, it was a little bit early in, in the middle stages of set one, but really serving's been pretty good across the board um, from both sides so far this evening.
Chargers take their first time out, upset two. Can apologize, we missed a couple of points there. Jump serve, Ginder, Gislin going to the left side for Sophia. Now Cole to Scheiman and a rocket for Mary Kate Scheiman. Point Belmont, 10 to four, Braves leading in our second set. In the back row, Gumbel on the serve. First touch for Finfrock. Gislin attacks, long run here for the Braves and we're gonna have a net violation underneath. Just trying to chase after the point, Braves slide underneath the net line. Now 10 to five. Sinish. Strong serve goes off the tape, came nearly right back over. Los dumps it into the back corner. Stiegel swings over the top, Kristen to it first. Scheiman, soft touch, comes back to Belmont. Cole takes a swing and there's her first kill. Point Belmont. 11 to five, Braves in the second set. One nothing match lead for Belmont. And that serve from Cole is into the net. Service air, Point Carroll. 11 to six. Lauren Peters back on serving for Carroll. And a service ace for Peters. Brings the Chargers back to a four point deficit. Have that down as just the second service ace for Carroll so far here tonight. That is unofficial. I'm trying here to keep track of everything. Peters, another strong serve. Cole. Left for Suter, run underneath, and Gislin kept it alive. Now Stiegel takes the swing over the top. Belmont attacking Scheiman. Peters was there, dumped down from Los is in, but she made contact with the net. Point Carroll. 11 to eight. So Peters back to the service line once again. Chargers now in the midst of a 3-0 run. Peters high over the top. Scheiman down the middle and through. Mary Kate Scheiman picks up the point. Twelve to eight, Belmont leading in the second set. Fifteen and one, Belmont. Twelve and two, Carroll. Down the line, serve. Sinish skies it. Gislin for Stiegel. Good push over. Blockers do enough as Lawson swings back for Belmont. Now Carroll, good opportunity. Gislin takes the swing, that was Sophia. Belmont for Suter, off the blocker and out. Stiegel sliding over and it just hit off the inside of her forearm, 13 to eight. Good move by the freshman who, man has Sarah been impressive in her freshman season for Carroll on the varsity roster. Lot of, lot of good talent for the Chargers for many years to come. Gislin back setting for Gislin. And too far in the attack from Sophia. That was Olivia setting to Sophia, senior to sophomore. 14 to eight, Belmont. Jump serve from Scheiman, Sinish first look. Go into the middle, Shippey was rejected initially. Belmont attack. Cole, back setting. Soft tap by Suter is down. Point Belmont, 15 to eight. The advantage in set two here for the Braves and that'll force a timeout to be taken by Carroll. Second timeout for the Chargers. And this one nothing match advantage for Belmont, 15 to eight in set two. And set two is last night where the Braves 
struggled at least early in the second set. And I'm sure Coach Kroll, that was something that was focused on before this match and probably even before set two started uh, after last night. Homestead just got off and running in set two against Belmont. Braves battled all the way back to force overtime, but it was the Spartans who eventually took that set number two. That was the only set that Sparty would take last night against Belmont. Uh, but the Braves didn't let them have it easily by any means either. So uh, interesting to see how they have bounced back. 15 to eight, set two lead for the Braves. Suter, Scheiman, Lawson leading the charge in the attacking department. Scheiman down the line on the serve at Sinish. Gislin for Stiegel, soft tap over the top at Cole. Kristen setting up Scheiman for the back row attack. Sinish digs it. Stiegel swing cross court, curls down. Point Carroll, and maybe more importantly for the Chargers, point out of the timeout. Stop the bleeding a little bit, 15 to nine in set two. Gislin. Sophia Gislin waiting on word to serve. We're just trying to confirm the officials are ready to go. Gislin playing Sophia in just her eighth set so far this season. Good serve into the back row. Suter strong swing. Sinish handcuffed but kept it up. And then Stiegel's blocked. Suter combining with Los on the block combo. 16 to nine, Belmont in set two. Sammy Christian. Ginder for Stiegel. Strong swing by the freshman. This one somehow avoids the rafters up top. Lawson swing is blocked. And maybe that's what Carroll needs to get things moving. Addie Shippey on the rejection and immediately fist pumping and trying to get her side fired up. Hayden Finfrock. Trying to push her run here for Carroll. Finfrock, good line drive just over the tape. Lawson, soft tap, dug up. Finfrock from the back row. Now Cole setting, Lawson one more time, rejected again. Braves keep it up though. Carroll on the attack, Sinish can't finish. Nice long rally brewing, it's Shyman. Ginder there, joust, one by Lawson, and Belmont gets the point. 17 to 10. Suter with a seven point advantage for the Braves. Finfrock, Gislin, and then off the slide. There's Addie Shippey again. Sophomore power here for the Carroll Chargers makes it 17 to 11. And Shippey picking up a couple more kills in the process. A wet spot on the floor. Lawson will wipe it up for Belmont. Six points separating Belmont and Carroll. Chargers are out of timeouts here in set two. Both timeouts do remain on the other side for the Braves if they want them. Ginder serving out of the quick pause for the wet spot. Ginder jump serve was at the back row. Cole in the middle and Gumbel soft tap is down. Alyssa Gumbel with the kill and a point for Belmont. Eighteen to eleven Braves. Mills, jump serve. Finfrock first touch. Miscommunication from Carroll. It's a free ball back. Slide for Gumbel. She's got back to back kills. 19 to 11. Belmont trying to go up 2 0 in this match. Carroll in a dangerous position right now. 
Mills serve, Chargers miscommunication on the back line. Service ace, Point Braves. Belmont scored three in a row. Another jump serve from Mills, just off the top of the tape this time. Gislin for Sinish, blockers there for Belmont. Sinish, another swing, rolled over. Scheiman angled and couldn't quite get it over the net there. She was just trying to make sure that third touch made it over, but a little too soft from Mary Kate Scheiman, 20 to 12. Chargers, Chloe Hirschberger back into that front row. Gislin into the back row of Belmont. Suter on the first touch called for it. It's Scheiman who gets the swing instead. Carroll taps it over. Scheiman once again, this time true. Mary Kate Scheiman on the kill. Got her unofficially at eight so far tonight for Belmont. And now Gumbel serving at a 21-12 advantage. Kinder, angles near side, healthy swing. Popped up by Scheiman, and now she'll take the attack. Blockers push it up, free ball back to Belmont. Cole, tough set, still got it to Scheiman, and she delivers. 22 to 12, Braves in the second. Alyssa Gumbel. Strong serve. Gislin back setting. Sinish hits the back line. So a little bit of a break there for Carroll as Sinish finds the back row. Bailey Sinish got her unofficially just at six kills so far. That's been Belmont's biggest difference right now as they've found a way to quiet Sinish a little bit. Scheiman rejected, and that's what Carroll needs to slow down the shining sophomore for Belmont. Back-to-back -back points for the Chargers, block combining up front, Hirschberger as well as Sassy. Sinish serves again. Low line drive, beautiful serve. Cole for Scheiman, soft tap. Dug out, two-hand shove. Cole pushed it right back into the corner, found the open window. 23-14 Belmont. Cole trying to get out of set two for Belmont with back-to-back -back points. Ginder shoved over. Cole for Scheiman. This time blocked. Sassy was there. Oh, that ball not called down. Carroll thought for sure it was down, as did I. It will make a difference. Belmont's awarded the point here. Gislin there looking for double contact on the kick up. I thought the ball actually hit the court by the way that Carroll reacted. Braves pop it up. They say they kept it alive. And it'll be 24-14, at least it looks like it. Olivia Gislin doing her job as the captain, trying to get the explanation from our head official. And then Gislin will talk with the assistant as well. And, and maybe the biggest thing here is for the officials, just if Gislin could convince them to at least get together and talk about what they saw here and maybe bring the line judges in too. Uh, every point is crucial. But Carroll's not going to be able to get this one. So it's 24-14 Belmont. Braves earn the point, and now we're at set point here in the second. Cole serve is too strong. So Carroll will take the point and go crazy because of it. Twenty-four fifteen. Lauren Peters serving set point two upcoming. 
Peters jump serve is over the tape. Cole back set right side. Scheiman off the top of the block. Sinish keeps it up. And then tap back over by Scheiman. Two hand shove by Carroll. Kristen backs it up. Could be the set point. Los is blocked instead. There it is. Shippy again is there on the rejection for Carroll up front. 24 16. Lauren Peters, serve is over. Cole tracking, back set, Scheiman, soft touch. Couldn't be pancaked. Scheiman's got another kill, and Belmont has a set two victory and a two to nothing match lead here for the Braves as we head into our third set. 25-18 in set one, 25-16 in set two. Chargers in danger of dropping this match. It is two to nothing. Belmont with a match advantage as we head into set three. Anderson Heating and Air, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of experience. Call us today and get a free quote on a brand new furnace and AC, financed and available. Don't wait. Call us today and sign up for a maintenance agreement and stay cool. Our maintenance agreements will ensure that you're first in line if you have an emergency and we'll send one of our service techs out for cleanings twice a year. Call us at 557-0958 or request an appointment on our website. Call Anderson Heating and Air, where your emergency is our emergency. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Two sets to none, the advantage for Belmont as we head into our third set this evening from Decatur in the TP at Belmont High School. The Braves, the number one ranked team in 3A, leading the Carroll Chargers out of 4A. Two sets to none, 25-18 and 25-16. The set scores in the first and second in favor of Belmont. Now the Braves will look for a sweep. Well, the Chargers here at home won't be easy to come by. We talked about it. Carroll now losing just nine total sets so far this year. And the Chargers have only been swept once. That was by Hamilton Southeastern. Carroll's at Dwanger tomorrow. Belmont's off until next week. They got Adam Central and New Haven on the schedule next week. Congratulations to Bailey Sinish as well as Delaney Lawson. Sinish surpassing 200 kills on the season as did Lawson here this evening. So that's unofficial totals to get to those 200, but congratulations to both of them. Third set, ready for action. Carroll serves. And it's Finn Frock beginning our third set. Cole pushed into the middle and that an awkward attack for Los. Swing for Sinish finds the back corner. Point. Carroll. Chargers strike first here in set three.
back against the wall. Maybe that's where the Chargers can perform at their highest level. Cole for Lawson, soft tap doesn't go. Into the middle, and again, Belmont on the attack. Good swing for Suter. Sinish off a back foot goes cross court. Lawson in the back row. And now Sinish again spins one. Long rally here in set three. Back set for Suter. And a point for Carroll off the block. Sinish will get credit. Shippy in the area. Two nothing Chargers. Finfrock. Good line drive and a low serve. Lawson has to wait for the set to come back to her. Little joust opportunity is tapped through by Lose and she hit the net. Point Carroll. Little net violation on Belmont. Three nothing Chargers to begin set three and this is a little bit more like what Belmont had to do deal with last night in set two against Homestead. Service air there from Finfrock. She comes up short. Three to one. But a good start for Carroll in this third set. They obviously needed it trailing two sets to none. Finfrock first touch. Blizzin off to Shippy. She's blocked. And it's four touches. That one never made it over the top of the tape. Now Kristen will look to even it up. Sinish heavy swing, got part of the tape. Back row, Scheiman, and down. Mary Kate Scheiman on the kill, three to three in set three. Two nothing match advantage, and now Carroll jumps back out in front off the service air by Kristen. Brenna Ginder, the libero serving at Scheiman. Cole in the middle, goes left to Lawson. Ginder digs it out. Tapped over by Sassy. Lawson swings back for Belmont. Braves pop it up. Kristen back row for Scheiman. Gislin, and again, longer rally here in set three. Ball punched over to Carroll. Sinish swing, blocker there. Sinish, another attempt. Soft drop, Lawson can't dig it out. Coach Kroll not happy. He thought Graves had another opportunity at a block there with Sinus swinging. First touch comes back over. And Carroll scores again. Olivia Gislin will get credit on the kill. Carroll is calling for that lift. So that's happened twice there for Lawson. Ginder serves once more, 3-0 run for the Chargers. Lawson attack, back row, Finfrock skies it. Sinish near side, Scheiman's there. Cole for Lawson. Carroll, nice work. Sinish free ball though, and it falls in. Sometimes just get it over the net line. That's what Sinish did there, and it results in a point for the Chargers. 4-0 run for Carroll. Ginder serve, too strong, and that'll stop the run for the Chargers at four, but four big points there for Carroll. This is one of those matches where if you get it to a fourth set, you just never know what could happen, especially in a road environment. Sinish takes the swing, blocked up front, Cole, as well as Gumbel there. Sinish had to attack right about that three meter line and Belmont makes her pay, seven to five. Chargers ahead in the third set, but trailing in the match two to nothing. Suter 
at Sinish. Gislin for a slight opportunity. Sassy puts it down. Sassy's having a good night, especially on the block for Carroll. Olivia Gislin serving in an eight to five lead for Carroll. Back row at Scheiman, Cole back set. Gumbel, soft tap, didn't make it over. Four touches, point Carroll. Chargers back up by four here in the third. And it, it may just take one, one set victory and for Carroll to believe they can get it done here on the road tonight. Gislin, there's a service mistake from Carroll, nine to six. That's the one thing for the Chargers so far in set three. They played really well, but two out of the six points for Belmont have come off service errors. Mills. Good serve coming right at us. Sinish towards the middle. Sassy just has to hit it over. Cole towards the back corner. Reads it beautifully. Like a quarterback, Haley Cole finding the soft spot in the zone. And it's 9-7. to seven. Unofficially, Cole's third kill. Mills at Sinish. Gislin, swing goes long and no touch from Hirschberger. And now all of a sudden, Belmont on a 3-0 spurt to make it 9-8. Mills again. Sinish on that far side, takes the swing, points it off the block and out. Sinish after Finfrock made that first touch, gets the kill off the assist from Gislin. Ten to eight, Chargers on top. Scheiman blocked, keeps it alive. Free ball back from Suter. Ginder for Gislin. Down the middle, swing from Hershberger, skied. Kristen tracks it down. Another free ball from the Braves, which is going to go out. Point Carroll. 11 to 8. And the Charger fans are starting to bring the noise here at the TP. Sinish at Kristen. Scheiman. Good swing, good window, but too strong. No touch. Point Carroll. 12 to eight, Chargers lead in set three, trailing two nothing in the match, but a timeout forced. Belmont takes the timeout, and while we have some time here, let's thank some of our great sponsors who make this broadcast possible here on Summit City Sports. Big Eyed Fish has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. You can like their Facebook pages for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment at Big Eyed Fish. Kelly Automotive celebrating their 70th year in business. Shop all 14 of their brands at kellydrive.com. Tom Steele Tire has been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They will help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, engine diagnostics, and more. At Ottenweller Contracting, we invest in our customers by providing peace of mind during the entire process. From bid to build, visit OttenwellerContracting.com. So Carroll leading 12-8. In the third set, trailing in the match, two zip. Sinish, line drive serve and out of the timeout, service ace for Carroll. Bailey Sinish picks up the service ace. Another strong and another service ace off the strong swing from Sinish. Six point advantage for Carroll in the third. Sinish serve at Kristen. Cole down the middle for Scheiman. 
scramble, Chargers attack Stiegel. Blockers were there for Belmont. Now the Braves with Scheiman. She has to shove it back up. Cole attacks, comes back to Belmont. Cole down the middle for Gumble, and this time it's true. Not a clean reception opportunity in that back row for Sinish. So the Braves break the run from Carroll, but it's 14 to 9. Gumble set to serve. Kinder first touch, Gislin, and there's a rejection off the attack from Sassy. Now Stiegel, her attack is skied high. Scheiman off her two feet, goes to the back row at Sinish. Stiegel gets another swing. Can't quite put it there through. Scheiman will. Mary Kate Scheiman, another kill. Belmont trailing 14 to 10 in set three, two nothing match lead, belonging to the Braves. It's Gumble. Wiped up the wet spot, now we'll get the official good to go. Gumble, good high arcing serve. Stiegel swing into the back row, popped up by Mills, and then two-hand shove from Cole. Stiegel, back row again at Mills. Cole, time to set for Scheiman, and she buries it. Cross-court kill for Mary-Kate Scheiman. Just does it all here for Belmont. Fourteen to eleven, Carroll. The Braves on the move. Back set, far side, and a great look for Hershberger. Great set from Gislin there. She goes behind her head, basically the length of the entire net from left to right. Carroll point, 15 to 11. Off the top of the tape on the serve, Cole shoving, Scheiman cross court. Picked up now for the back row. Sinish soft tap. Kristen left for Scheiman. And again, she finds the court. Mary Kate Scheiman on the kill. 15 to 12. Sassy is on for Carroll and then Ginder right back in. Part of that rotation with the Libero in the back row. 15 to 12. Carroll on top in the third. Cole, Gislin high points, too strong on the swing and no touch. Attack air by Carroll, point goes to Belmont. Strong swing from Hershberger, but just too much juice. Belmont back within two. Line drive from Cole and a service ace. 15-14. Belmont, one point away from tying us in the third. Sinish digs out the serve in the middle. It was a good opportunity for Shippey, and now ball ping-pongs around before a two-hand shove. Cole for Scheiman. Oh! Mary Kate Scheiman again. Fifteen, fifteen, and a timeout called by Carroll. Fifteen all in this third set. Once again, I want to thank our great sponsors who have made tonight's broadcast possible. Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area from ages 5 to 18. Our players are equipped with elite level skills and the foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together, we can reach the summit. Anderson Heating and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business, a system and solution that fits your unique needs. Visit AndersonCoolHeat.com. Are you ready to do what it takes to put your past behind you? Whether it's expunging your criminal record or helping to get your driver's license reinstated, Jolly Law Firm is your answer. We'll continue to thank our sponsors as we make our way throughout the broadcast tonight. Set three, 
tied up at 15. Belmont and Carroll. Braves are one set victory away from winning this match. Down the line on the serve. And mistake made by Carroll. Gislin, the setter, had to run to get to it. And now 16 to 15. Belmont grabbing the lead here in set three. Cole serves again. Ginder popped it up. Sinish, and now a free ball from Stiegel. Cole, good setting opportunity, goes behind a suitor. Didn't make it over, gonna be four touches. On Belmont, point Carroll. And now it's 16s. Carroll, it's Hirschberger to serve. Jump serve is good. Cole, far side, Suter buries another one. Jackie Suter has had a spectacular match, especially the first two sets here for Belmont. 17 to 16, Braves in front. Scheiman serves at Ginder. Rejected up front, it's Suter who got her hands on it after Shippey tapped it over. 18-16, felt like Suter there may have just grabbed that ball for half a second, redirects and gets the point for Belmont. Braves all of a sudden feeling a sweep tonight. Gislin for Shippey. Cole, Lawson, soft tap, Carroll attack. Gislin tried to swipe down. Now Lawson gets another swing. Into the back corner. Point Braves. 19-16 Belmont. Carroll with one timeout remaining. Scheiman serves again. Good spin. Ginder first look. Swing coming from Stiegel into the back row. Scheiman grabbed it. Now she'll take the swing off the set from Cole. Braves up 20 to 16. It's been the late push from Belmont here in set three. Timeout taken by the Chargers. And all of a sudden it is 20 to 16 in favor of Belmont here in set three, looking at a sweep potentially. Once again, big thanks to our sponsors. Sioka Cleaning and Restoration, providing top-notch commercial cleaning services, including janitorial, water damage, and state-of-the-art disinfecting services throughout Northeast Indiana. Online degree programs at the University of St. Francis are built for convenience and flexibility. Most degrees can be completed in 12 months. Visit online.sf.edu. Specialists in design, build, mechanical, and refrigeration. Visit tjwindustrial.com and earn your edge this season. Parkview Sports Medicine's edge training program maximizes your athleticism through personalized performance training to reach your goals and get you to the next level. Visit parkviewsportsmedicine.com slash edge to schedule your free consultation. Belmont closing in on a sweep potentially tonight over Carroll at home. 20 to 16 in the third set, despite the Chargers leading for a majority here of set three. Sinish. Towards the middle, Shippey will at least get it over the net. Cole down the middle, Lawson tapped off to the far side. She picks up another kill. Point, Belmont, 21-16. First kill for Lawson here in set three. It's been a lot of Mary Kane Scheiman in this third set. Another wet spot on the floor. Gislin trying to wipe it up. So five point lead for Belmont in set three, 2-0 match advantage for the Chargers. Scheiman serving and too far. Service air, Carroll back within four, needed that one. Twenty-one seventeen. Carroll serving. See if Finfrock can take the Chargers on a run. Good line drive. 
Cole sets up Lawson. Soft tap blockers there for Carroll, and the Chargers get the point. Blockers deterring Lawson. Chargers within three. Finfrock trying to make it a 3-0 run for Carroll. Scheinman first touch, Cole for Suter off the block and down. Sinish was there, but it's Suter who slides in for the kill. Twenty-two eighteen. Serve goes at Finfrock. Left side attack for Sinish. Good spin on that attack. Cole setting far side. Lawson rejected. And it's Gislin along with Shippy again. Combo of the block has been powerful for the Chargers here tonight. But Carroll still behind the eight ball, trailing 22 to 19 in the third, two nothing in the match. Ginder jump serve, Scheiman the first touch. Cole has to track it down. Scheiman from the back row, blocked back, did not make it over. Four touches for Belmont, 22 to 20. And now Ginder can put the pressure on the Braves a little bit here. Despite Belmont leading, it's getting tight in this third. Kristen Suter off the touch from Cole. Braves on the other end will watch it fly out. Point for Belmont, two points away from their 16th win in 17 matches. Suter on the jump over the tape. Finfrock first touch. Gislin for Sinish. Got to pass the blockers, but not pass Kristen. Lawson swing. And we've arrived at match point here in the third. 24 to 20. Braves can improve to 16 and 1 with a point. Serves off the tape. Ginder will set. Sinish swing. Plants it in. Point Carroll. Match point number two upcoming. Chargers. Gislin will serve. And Belmont takes a timeout before we can get to that serve. 24-21, Chargers trail Belmont in the third set. Match point number two is upcoming for the Braves. What's well, been a really fun environment here tonight. Student section of Belmont. Letting the Carroll JV and freshman girls chant back and forth. But ultimately tonight, Belmont is found its groove again, especially in that second set. Felt like Belmont was really firing. Third set, Chargers off and running to begin things. Braves battling back here and now at match point number two. It's Gislin serving for Carroll. Belmont will host Adams Central on Monday. Gislin Jump serve over the tape. Cole sets for Lawson. Point match, Belmont. Braves sweep Carroll. 25-18, 25-16, and 25-21. A final here from the TP and Decatur, Belmont High School, straight sets. A win for the Braves as Belmont improves to 16 and 1 on the season. Chargers drop to 12 and 3. We'll come back with final thoughts right after this. Sports Club is a volleyball first facility and home to Empowered's Volleyball Academy and Pro Beach Juniors. At Empowered, we focus on development and the process over outcome. And we believe our record setting recruitment numbers, 24 athletes alone in our 2023 class, 100% college placement rate and continued success at the highest levels by our alumni 
speak for themselves, confirming that Empowered is your best option for overall athlete development. This year, we have once again upgraded our club model, programming, and staff to keep us out in front as one of the country's leaders in total athlete development, mind, body, and soul. But none of this would even be possible if God hadn't blessed us with a 90,000 square foot state-of-the-art volleyball and multi-sport facility that includes indoor turf, PSM weight training, four volleyball courts, and five indoor beach courts. Empowered is here to stay. So if you're looking for a long-term home and one you will never outgrow, we believe the choice is clear. Empowered is the most thorough and all-inclusive Junior Olympic development program in the country. Team Pineapple Volleyball Club was established in 1997 and has become synonymous with top-level volleyball in Northeast Indiana. Lloyd Ball is the owner and director at Team Pineapple, and he's also one of the coaches. Ball is a four-time Olympian and a gold medalist at the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games. Join the Pineapple family today. Go to their website, teampineapple.com, for all programming information. Team Pineapple trains at the brand new Ball Sports Academy. This facility has indoor volleyball courts, Parkview Sports Performance, Parkview Ortho Clinic, Olympic Weight Room, in-house massage therapy, and the state-of-the-art CET Cryo Spa for post-training therapy. Head north on Highway 69 towards Angola and come see how champions are made at the Ball Sports Academy. It's a final from Decatur tonight. Straight set sweep for Belmont over Carroll. 25-18, 25-16, and 25-21. The final here as Belmont improves to 16-1 this season. Chargers drop to 12-3 overall on the year. Some unofficial stats to get things finished tonight. Mary-Kate Scheinman, 15 kills unofficially. She'll earn our Parkview Sports Medicine Player of the Night. Delaney Lawson, 10 unofficial kills. And how about the play from Jackie Suter this evening. A little bit quieter in last night's match at Homestead. Suter showing out and finishing with nine kills and third unofficially on the roster for Belmont this evening. Sinus leads the way in the kill department for Carroll tonight. And really thought that Addie Shippey had a nice match, especially on that front row as well. And of course, Olivia Gislin, kind of that vocal leader uh, for Carroll and providing a little bit of spark, especially within set three for the Chargers. But it turned out Belmont too much for Carroll here this evening. And the Braves go to 16 and one. Chargers to 12 and three. A straight set sweep for Belmont here tonight. I'm Jaron Mathiti. That's all the time we have together for this evening. Glad that you could join us. Make sure you check us out. Summit City Sports, our YouTube page. The next two days, next two nights, we'll have some soccer action tomorrow and then back to Friday night football just two nights from now. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Belmont improving to 16-1 and with a straight set sweep of Carroll.